It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. This morning, we're wishing a very happy birthday to the great Tori Amos by playing a song from her second solo album, Under the Pink. Cornflake Girl was inspired by a conversation she had about the awful practice of FGM. And I'm using the acronym because if you know what it means, you know. And if you don't, fair warning before you look it up. She and her friends used the term cornflake girl to describe girls who would hurt you despite your closeness to them, much like the women who would perform FGM on their daughters and granddaughters in cultures where that's been practiced. In the first line of the song, she says she never was a cornflake girl, instead hanging with the raisin girls. That is to say that in a box of cereal, the cornflakes are easier to find than the raisins, easier to find someone who might betray you than someone who will not. Coincidentally, Tori Amos appeared in a commercial for Kellogg's Just Right. Remember that cereal? I do. That was almost 10 years before she released this song. Bass on this song and the whole album, Under the Pink, was flawlessly handled by George Porter Jr. of the influential New Orleans funk band The Meters. And listen for the whistling at the beginning. Tori fought hard for that whistling. Her then-boyfriend and producer Eric Rossi did not like it and wanted mandolin instead. And that devolved into a screaming match in the studio. But in the end, she won out. Happy birthday, Tori Amos. And remember, in a world of cornflake girls, be a raisin girl.